everybody is able to share in the country. Brexit means Brexit. Yet two months on from the referendum and Theresa May's government has still not revealed its intentions or its strategy for exiting the European Union. It really is a very significant... At the G20 summit, May only managed to reiterate her commitment to June's referendum result and contradict Foreign Minister Boris Johnson whilst trying to clarify immigration policy. What the British people voted for on the 23rd of June was to bring some control into the movement of people from the European Union into the UK. A points-based system does not give you that control. David Davis is the Secretary of State for Brexit. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thought it would be useful for the House. To... His appearance at the House of Commons on Tuesday failed to shed any more light on the subject. Of the 23rd of June. It means getting the best deal for Britain, one that's unique to Britain and not an off the shelf solution. This must mean controls on the numbers of people who come to Britain from Europe but also a positive outcome for those who wish to trade in goods and services. Yeah. Davis's counterpart in the opposition, Emily Thornby, criticised contradictions in the government's assertions and accused them of being vague, stating only what Brexit does not mean. What we haven't been told is what they are going to do. When are they going to tell us how they're going to deliver, for example, free trade for British businesses whilst also imposing immigration controls? The only thing that seems certain is that the days of free movement for EU migrant workers to the UK will soon end. The effect on the UK economy is already being felt in the £1.2 billion soft fruit industry. Lawrence Ollins is chairman of the British Summer Fruits Industry Association. And I know growers who have stopped expanding because they, they can't put an order in for their trees or plants because they don't know whether they're going to have labour in 2018 and 2019 to pick that crop. The losing Remain camp have not given up on a second referendum yet and seven lawsuits have been filed with courts demanding that a parliamentary vote rather than the Prime Minister enact Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty.